Yeah. Uh, let's do this. That was your jingle. Leroy. No, okay. What's that? All the right, jingle? boys, let's do yeah, this. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> that was the jingle. That was the okay, jingle. Okay, right now, that's a jingle. <laughs> okay, okay, then. Welcome to the Real Team Six podcast, where we give you real talk with real gameplay. Uh, this is our first podcast. Uh, it's happy that we're happy to have you here. Uh, hopefully, you can bear with us since you could see how much of a mess that opening jingle was. Still, still working nice. on it. Oh, wow. I, that's right, very that's, that's that very shit goes, goes viral. I'm not sharing no money with y'all. That is, that is, don't encourage him. <laughs> don't encourage him. Today we will be discussing Ubisoft and their release of Hyperscape, next gen games increasing to seventy dollars, and what is really the best gaming snack. So, to begin, we will be introducing the cast for the first time, starting at the number one position, Fam. Fuck no, he doesn't get fucking one. I am. Mir, hello, Mir, my I name is Mir. This is number one here. Mir, number two, here's Nathan. Oh my gosh. Okay, Mir, here. you had time to look at this. We've discussed this. The, it's literally in the script. I need you oh, to work okay, with me bet, here. Bet. Okay, here's what's happening. Don't you go changing. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, if, nobody can see this, but uh, yeah, he's going yeah, in there and changing. Podcast, he's changing. Second, second person yeah. is uh, Mir. Okay. Wait, are we actually live? This is We're actually recording. live. So, okay. Uh, let's roll this. Okay, welcome oh, to the first position, <laughs> Mir. Mir, go ahead and say whatever. Hi, my name's Amir. Chris fucked up. I'm number one. <laughs> there. <laughs> well, uh, great. Number two, fam. Hi, I'm Asian. That's all you need to know. And at the guard position, number three, Ryan. Hello. I am a redneck. <laughs> Sorry, that was so funny. That sounds like an Indian okay. redneck right there. Oh. Hello, how are you doing? I I'm not even going to take time. To, <laughs> I'm not going to take time to comment on that. I'm not going to take time to comment on that. Number four, fresh off the bench, is Sabrina. Hi, I'm the girl in the chat, so the old hi. Girl. And water him. boy at the end of the bench is me, myself, Topher. Today, I am the moderator for this podcast. And again, we're happy to have you here. And you know what? Let's just jump right into it. Uh, today, we're going to have our podcast played over Minecraft. That's what we're playing with. Do shut up. Don't you, don't you bring attention to that. <laughs> <laughs> Minecraft is a very chill game. Uh, lest I could say about Mir and his attitude. So our first Who topic of no discussion filter? today is Ubisoft. Ubisoft came out yesterday and released Hyperscape in a very unconventional way in the same result as uh, a game that we're all familiar with, Apex. So, going to The Verge, Verge is actually stating that Ubisoft has been teasing this game for a while, and they actually came out at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time yesterday on Thursday, and it, as it raised to the top of the Twitch charts as they released a technical test version of the game. Do we actually see this game going anywhere with a very crowded BR lineup Hell already? No, I say no. Like you, Just, like you said, like you said, they've been teasing it, but they let us down. <laughs> Are you saying Ubisoft has let us down in the past? Again, Where, yes. Can, can <laughs> <hold me back laughs> here? Like, so it seems like the reception for this game has been pretty high. I mean, it's the first day, right? Anything can happen the first day. A lot of people like that. new things, right? Do you, you think most people on Twitch are probably downloading this game just to get revenue, and they're all that's all it is, that's all the sales? So you're saying people are playing off hype? Exactly. Okay. I mean, if you think about it, Valorant was similar. Like, the way that you get the game, you like, you can't get it yet. It's through Twitch drops. So Correct. So the way, like, Valorant is, is fun, but I feel like more people would play it if it wasn't so saturated by Twitch with the drops, because most people were in those streams just to get the, the chance to get a key to play the game. And, now, and then so when it fully released, granted people are playing it, mm. it's just not holding true to the hype. Or at least yeah, it seems like there was a decline with Valorant once they actually made the official launch. Because um, a lot of people were excited about it, right? And they made it, so it was a very smart advertising move to make it to where the only way you can get access to the game is by watching it. So um, I think 
with this game, I, I think the reception speaks for itself, right? It soared to the top, but we've seen cases in the past. See, I, uh, he's, that this, this well, has been so, the case before. So I, I Ubisoft, Ubisoft had a good hit with Rainbow Six Siege. True, I, I think it's are, still a hit. Yeah, these are the that's guys what I'm saying, that it's still a hit, but that, sick, that's uh, something sick. that was like, it was popular at the very beginning, and it, it withheld it. True. True. That is actually not a bad point. So, how do you see this stacking up to other BR games that are already on the market? Well, when we already have War Warzone, Apex, Fortnite. Like, where, where well, do we see that have, fitting you in? You have children playing Fortnite, and they're not going to get off of that because Ninja plays no. it, and Ninja is amazing to them. Uh, and then you have people that are like uh, Chris, and they play uh, Warzone, so they yeah. just play anything because they're bored, even though that game's trash. So, wars, in my opinion, <laughs> most it's debatable. BRs are trash. <laughs> it, most you, most you are because to, they get like, yeah, heavy sweats. You have to bring something to the table. <laughs> and <laughs> to be honest, not a lot of games are bringing stuff to the table. See, I want to hear Sabrina's take on this. Sabrina, what's your point of view on where this fits in in a very already crowded lineup of BR games? I'll be truthful. I know y'all going to hate me. But uh, oh, I haven't really seen it yet. I haven't really looked at it. You haven't it. seen it yet. No. So it's it's think, not surprising. Yeah, it, I mean, here's the thing. I, I took a quick look at it yesterday. GameSpot released a, a Let's Play on it on their channel. GameStop it, it did? Just, uh, GameSpot. GameSpot. Oh, I was about to say. Uh, no, GameStop <laughs> is dead. They're, they're not coming back. Good. They've been uh, dead for the past yeah. five years. They're just surviving. Uh, that's, that's, that's yeah. like, they, they're holding on by a thread right now. So um, somebody keeps buying them back from the Gulag. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I mean, that's, that's straight facts, though. It is, and I think that's a huge topic for, uh, that we could even just spend an entire time talking about. It's just that mess, and I think that's actually going to be a really good thing to talk about on our next podcast. I think that's something we should look at. Um, but with Hyperscape, I mean, you look at the gameplay, and there's a lot to look at, right? It's, it is beautiful. There's no denying that. There's just a lot going on. It's like it's, Advanced Warfare from uh, Call of Duty. I think it's a very good comparison. There is a lot going on. Um, Sabrina, if you compare, ever take the time to look, that it that's kind of what I feel. A lot of people are saying it's a mix. I would compare it more to, like, what, what, uh, what was that game that people said it was going to be amazing? It was going to be, like, the new type of, like, Quake. Quake? <laughs> no, no. Do y'all remember what Quake 2? No, there was a game that was like Quake, Quake Champions. But it came out, like, I'd say two years ago, and it failed immediately. Was the That's new probably why Quake. no one heard it. Was supposed to be the new Quake. Let's see this. Uh, what, what was supposed was supposed to be the new Quake? We are Googling this right now. Uh, I am getting result of Quake. 2016. No. Uh, so, no, it was going to be more than like that. Quake. It was going to, like, it's a game that's like Quake, but it had, like, champions. And... You know what, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about, uh, it was released by the makers of Gears of War. Uh, you're yeah. talking about, yeah, yeah, you're, you're talking about, yeah. uh, it failed horribly. Like, uh, failed on Steam. Um, Quake. We need somebody to, to work on this. Somebody, somebody, take some time. Miri, take some time. Look that up. I will. Get us on track. I know what you're talking about. Uh, I don't want to embarrass us any further. So, in the end result, though, like with Hyperscape, do you actually see it succeeding in the short term, long term, at all, like say monetarily? If, if more, sure. if if people continue to stream it, yes. That's just because a lot of people nowadays only play video games because they they can watch it. But, like, for example, a lot of people don't play, like, Skyrim and shit. That's mostly because they don't see a lot of people playing it. They won't play older games. They want the newest thing that's coming out. So I, I feel like people are going to play it once it releases, but I can't be too sure. You see it dying off very quickly. I don't see yeah, it dying I, I off. See... I see it... I, I don't know. I see it I just being there. I see it spike in the beginning. <laughs> it, it'll spike in the beginning and then slowly die off. Mm-hmm. 
and I think it is tough, right? When you're dealing with the lineup of Fortnite, Apex, and Warzone, Warzone is is, is it's it, it's taking a lot of good strides of updating as we go along. It, uh, Activision has already come out and saying that they're going to support it even after the next launch of the next Call of Duty game come this fall. It's it's really tough. You have to set yourself apart from the rest of the crowd and you're dealing with a very popular crowd like you're coming into the school as a brand new kid what are you bringing that's going to bring people's attention and keep it you know that's going to be tough that's going to be tough to do um you're, you're and, basically saying you want to be that kid that brings in candy or like the, the one that used to bring lunch uh in the lunch table you bring mcdonald's in instead of going to the school lunch yeah you got to try what you can to, to pr impress the cool kids to get invited to their table but what's going to stop them from thinking that they're just going to breed you up and take the McDonald's every day? You know? Sounds like something Mir would do. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if they're bringing McDonald's and didn't bring enough for me, you're, you're sharing the nuggets. Just... <laughs> Sounds like Mir's a McChicken badass Poop here. Those quacks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in an update, in Lawbreakers is the game, Mir. Lawbreakers. Yes, that game. Oh, it's Lawbreakers. That Lawbreakers. game was. <laughs> that game was an abomination. <laughs> to say the least, I like, imagine. Yeah. Yes. It was a ve yeah. like it was a very cool concept. Big words. But they were too hype. <laughs> yeah. Just like just like Battleborn. Oh, that was like one of my most favorite games the entire time in Invader. Like, I love the concept of Battleborn so fucking much. Like, it was such a good um, MOBA. But it got outclassed by fucking Overwatch because everybody was so right with Overwatch. So the bad thing that yeah. happened with that, it died off because it launched the same time as Overwatch. And they were hoping to compete, and it was 2K's failure of that game. And I, I'm quite sad about it being a failure because it was... The concept of it, it's, it's not so much as, like, unplayable or unwinnable. It's more or less just, like... It, it, it was like a MOBA, but not a MOBA kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Because you you level up your character, you, as you level up your character, you evolve just like any other game, and they stuck with the same abilities, stuff like that, you know, weapons and all that. But the objective it wasn't hard, it wasn't hard. Anybody could have honestly played it. Like literally, I've met on that game during the beta this this ten year old who literally would just always get top of the line all the time, no matter what. And I'm just like, how? And it's just because it's more or less how you play the character. Because when you level the character, you morph the character to a different type of character. More or less, you can turn a melee character into a ranged character. You can turn a ranged character into a melee character. More or less, it's a lot of geographic character morphing into it. And I love that about it because it isn't like the same way you can play any other class. You can make it both for Christ's sake. More or less, it's such a versatile game on how characters are molded into. It's just like, whoa. Yeah, I think a lot of it, it, it's it's death sentence was what it, it went up against Overwatch. It purposely did that. It put its release date around Overwatch, and that's so we don't see it anymore. It's gone. And you would think from a Gearbox uh, game that it would do that. <coughs> Aliens, uh, Colonial <laughs> Meath, uh, that it was going to be successful. But we found out quickly that Gearbox wasn't this this powerhouse that we we thought it to be with Borderlands, right? So, mm -hmm. uh, well, it's it's just because I think 2K was more or less just known for the Borderlands series. Yeah. The fact that they created Battleborn, and it was not necessarily 2K itself, it was a off-branch of 2K that created the game. I, I'm not sure what, what, what company it was, I think it was 2K Australia? Yeah. Gearbox but, was the developer for it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you're saying 2K Australia was the publisher. Like, the actual people who actually allowed the game to be published and stuff like that. I'm not sure mm -hmm. who exactly led to the event to that, all I know is that it wasn't exactly 2K themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And foreshadowing Overwatch, in comparison to the game of the mechanics versus Overwatch, I kind of appreciate Battleborn more for it, just because with Battleborn, everyone starts off even ground, level 1 or level 0, whatever level, I don't remember, it's been a while. But Overwatch, everybody's always at their prime. There's no Mitch Max, make, make Max of like, oh, you'd be max level level. You're always just going to be that character. There isn't really so much as you can play a character any different. You can play multiple different characters, sure, but it isn't like, hey, I'm going to go ahead and become a tank as a ninja. Or is it, it isn't going to be like, hey, I'm going to become a um, an opposite of a healer, just basically turn to a necromancer kind of thing. 
Well, a lot of things, I think, like, do you see Hyperscape becoming Battleborn in the future? Like, we're looking back on the, the history books of gaming, and we see where Hyperscape came out, and at the end result, are we seeing another Battleborn on our hands? I kind of doubt that. Knowing the way Ubisoft supports their game, the way it is right now, like, before Siege was taken over by another director, what they went with that was that at first Siege was developing into a game where it was actually not quite like any other first person shooter that you've seen out there. And then the director originally, who was the original director of Siege, stepped down because he wanted to move on to other projects. He left it in the hands of another director, but this director I think is in favor more towards uh, trying to gain and like get the consumers to spend as much money on the game as possible. And that's why you see those miniature battle passes mid-season. And I believe he's probably narcissistic as he puts himself in the game. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've You're all not wrong there. there. <laughs> I mean, like, what was that you, siege if, event? If, yeah. If you if you got to put yourself into the game and put your wedding ring in the game and a miniature chibi Whoa. of yourself in the game. Like, I can, he put I, his I, I wedding can, ring in the game? Yes. Yeah. He put his I wedding ring. I know that. I, I can see like you hide it you hide as an Easter egg, but mm -hmm. don't put it out for the whole public. Yeah, yeah. Like, the only thing I got to say is that why would you include a wedding ring? your wedding ring in the game. What is that supposed to stand for? What are you trying to gain from that? It's basically seeming like you're I'm married to, to the game, I'm not my wife anymore. I'm married, yeah. you're not. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting it, you're not. <laughs> I have a wife, you don't. Wow, Chris, <laughs> yeah. that, that's, uh, that's deep. I'm, hey, look, I'm a very introspective kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? I see somebody flexing the ring at me. I'm going to imagine they're trying to pull up on me. I'll meet you outside behind a CVS. I'll slap you with that long receipt, and you're going to wish you didn't get those paper cuts. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Speaking That's all I'm cuts, saying. I have a fuck ton of paper cuts on my hand. Well, not paper cuts. Hey, look, I got a lot of prescriptions I pick up from CVS. That, that receipt is going to be long AF. Is it they ain't ready. As a Bank of America receipt? Oh yeah, no, dude. I slap that thing. It's gonna sound like a uh, freaking Indiana Jones whip. It's, it's gonna, it's gonna sound like the ribbon from a, a dancer. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Not that kind of dancer. I was about to say. I, I, I leave that part of my past in the past, man. I leave that in the past. <laughs> Got to pay for college somehow, am I right? So moving oh on to the next topic. <laughs> uh, Next-gen titles are actually going to increase from $59.99 to $69.99. That is a lot of money. That okay. is a lot of money. But is it is it is it justified? Is that something like going into the next-gen, we're looking at PS5, Xbox One. Does that bother you? Does that affect yes. your game purchasing? One thing well, I gotta say about so, that is, what's it called? If it's okay, you, you, we, we all already know is that they have two versions of a console: disc and discless. For One PS5, say, correct? Yes, for the PS5. So, in terms of titles increasing to what would you say, seventy bucks instead of fifty? Se seventy. Yeah. Sixteen. Yeah, it's basically seventy. Yeah. So, with that in mind, the only thing I can say is that if you're getting a discless version, I feel like you should be able to just pay only 60 bucks like normal just because I know it takes some resources to be able to make those discs and stuff like that so I understand the price increase for the disc version but anything other than that I don't understand why you would increase the disc for a digital but here, here's my question with that if you're if you're talking about like how much it actually costs to make the disc how much has the disc changed since previous consoles enough you, I mean, you think when that you, you when think that you the hardware like in there? I mean, the 4K, the Blu-ray, and everything else, and more intense on how things but that, look. But that's already in the PlayStation 4. What's, what's different with the PlayStation 5 and the disc? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like, uh, it sounds like the same resources are being put in the disc, so there's not really a, a justified reason to raise the $10. Yeah, so I, but... It's also just the economy grows. Like, yeah, with this whole coronavirus thing, everything really took a hit. And it's kind of hard with prices going up sometimes on certain things. But I, like, it's just how we've been growing. I mean, with the PlayStation 5 going up compared to when the PlayStation 4 came out, prices are up. Then why not change the disc? I mean, it's just money growing. It's just how we've been working since for the longest time. Everything just grows out yeah. of money. 
with inflation, yeah. And exactly. I think it's important if we look at uh, Digital Trends article released uh, a statement basically uh, discussing why this price increase, because we saw it with 2K21. And on Digital Trends, it basically sees that to take two interactive software announced on Thursday, that NBA 2K21 would carry an MSRP of $69.99 for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X versions of the game. Other publishers haven't announced the pricing for their titles, but expect them to follow suit. A quote from from the developers of 2K21. We believe our suggested retail price of NBA 2K21 on next generation platforms fairly represents the value of what is being offered, said a 2K spokesman. While we are confident two, NBA 2K21 will be a monumental leap forward for the franchise and a standout visual showcase on the next generation consoles, we recognize that it is our responsibility to prove this value to our fans and NBA 2K players. We are looking forward to doing so and can't can't wait to show more in upcoming months. So there, it sounds like they are justifying that ten dollar price jump in value. So they're saying that they're able to bring more value to you, the consumer, because of the increased hardware that they're able to utilize with the game. Do you feel I, that's correct? If you really think I mean, about it, if you you think about how they really get special editions of video games. So, when they really special edition video games, it's paying extra for the video game just for more content that they didn't release yet, necessarily, or if they wanted to add more content to the game. The fact that they're increasing it by $10 makes me feel uneasy towards the fact that it's literally this, just a game, just an extra $10, but it means you're paying for more for workers. Understandably, that's, you know, with the whole coronavirus thing, as what Serena was stating before, it is slightly justifiable in that sense, but not necessarily for future games in that reference. Because, <clears throat> excuse me, it's, it's, I just feel like they're just trying to get more for their dollar. Like, they're yeah. trying to get more for the same game, and plus, like, there's one game I know that really cheated out, cheated me out of an actual game, which I paid full price for. And that's going to be Metal Gear Solid, um, what was it? It was Metal Gear Solid 5, Phantom Pain, I believe. Or it was it was it was some Metal Gear Solid game, and what it is is literally only it's a prequel to the actual game that they're releasing, and they wanted full price of sixty dollars for that game. Really? Oh, oh, yeah, I, I got it. Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes. So it was just a prequel to the game, like the the full game, and they wanted full price. You you the only thing that related to the story. I literally played the game, and it was about like what. I could speed run it and be the gun done with it in 15 minutes. No. And <laughs> that's not including uh, cutscenes or anything. That's literally just gameplay time. If I just full sprint into the base, rescue this person, and then leave, literally that would be, be the end of the game technically. And then next thing you know, you get all this side content. The side content of like, oh, here's a bonus. Oh, here's this bonus mission no. or whatever. And it's like, oh, it's the base during daytime. It's the same level over and over, just different scenarios. That is literally what the game is. Metal Gear Solid Ground I mean, Zero was, was a total. If like, you think about that, grabber. that could also be. Like, you can also relate that to Hitman being the same level over and over in different scenarios. Yes. True, but Hitman has like a variety. Like it yeah, they have different takes on, on that one map. So granted, it'll be the same map, but you might have to do. You might be able to unlock more like you of have that to map. Kill this from person now. with that. Yeah, so I can see them using the same resources, but in Nathan's case, that game literally was. You have the entire map, just differences. It was it was basically like single player Rainbow Six Siege hostage, pretty much. Mm. Yes, yes. It was go yes, in, exactly get like the hostage, get out. Go in, get the hostage, get out. Or go in, flush the toilet, get the, get the hostage, get out. Go in, oh, use no. the paper towels, get the hostage, get out. It was like that. It was literally the same end goal. You pretty much get the hostage, get out. That's no. Whereas like Hitman would be like, hey, go get this artifact, uh, bonus points for killing the guards or something like that. Yeah. 
So big thing about this too is that looking at this, it's it's honestly going to bring some rage to the gaming community, right? I oh, mean, God, they're yeah. going to want answers. They're going to want to see proof of why this price increase comes. And, and ob obviously because it's coming from 2K and an NBA release game, a lot of people are going to see it and they're like, well, this shouldn't be the baseline moving forward. They're wanting, they're going to want to see other companies and see what they make after that because there's no other other company that's come forward and said that this is going to be the price of our game moving into next gen we don't know that yet right this this is just a sign of hopefully what we don't see coming because me personally i i think it should stay the same a lot of games are moving digital uh, a lot of their sales are going to be more digital. I mean, you're seeing PS4 releasing, and I'm, I'm sure Xbox Series X is going to do the same. All digital console, no disc drive. Uh, companies and publishers are going to get more money out of digital sales because you don't have to manufacture that hardware. You don't have to go through actual distributors such as Walmart, Target, GameStop, yada, yada. They get more of that payback. So for yeah. me, you're going to hear a lot of pushback on that on the seventy nine uh, on the seventy dollar price point, right? And it makes sense to me. A lot of people, like Sabrina said, we're in times right now where money's tight. A lot of people are, are going to pick and choose how they're going to buy games. Uh, we saw that when we moved into our the Xbox. 360 and PS3 uh, generation, and people were happy when we moved into the PS4, Xbox One generation. Price See, points stayed the same. When that when that happened, yeah. though, one thing I got about that is that when Xbox did their launch, ooh, a lot of people were not spicy about that. Like they didn't take it in the they didn't take in well what Microsoft wanted to do. They wanted to do their own strip, like gaming service, like how Netflix did, but on a more extreme level. Where yeah. you mean the Xbox people, One, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Where they wanted to basically have you subscribe to everything that the Xbox did. Yeah. Yeah. And it yeah, was well, the worst thing that they could have done. Yeah, and that's what ruined a lot of their... That gave them a really bad start towards the this current generation is because they were trying... Me, particularly. But now that we're moving down the road, people are seeing more value in digital content. It's easier for them to get. They can get it from their home. But I don't think for the longest time it's the same thing with CDs. You see it diminish, but you'll never see the market go completely away entirely. Oh, God, no. Yeah, you're not going to see that because a lot of people love the hard copy. A I'm of, a, big... a lot of people are collectors that like to see the visual representation. Correct, and that's that. And you're not going to see that go away. And as long as companies, companies are going to be happy if the majority of their sales go digital. And I think that's a, a primarily what you're going to see going into the next generation. Um, but there is going to be outrage, and it's 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 going to be interesting to see as as we move closer and closer towards Xbox's uh, announce official announcement and this uh, preview of the Xbox Series X. Uh, how how we're gonna how we're gonna grow going into the next generation? Because I'm excited about it, but there's still a lot of questions, right, revolving around the whole next generation. A lot of uncertainty. I mean, it's it's a lot of money you have to drop down for anybody. Um, so I think it's going to be interesting to see what we go into it. Um, I, I know fans are already upset with 2K already with how they're doing their pricing model for keeping. If you buy in the current generation, how we move into the next generation, what does that look like for you? Oh, there's there's a whole debacle going on around that right now. Uh, Young Yeah on YouTube discusses it very well, but um, it seems that they're trying to be really stiffy about that as well. I mean, but. if you think about it, with everything growing and, like, buying games, everybody wants the deluxe versions of everything. But yeah. And, I mean, that costs, like, even, what, like, practically 40 bucks more. So if you really think about it, going from that 60 to 70 that's really only $10. It's not that much. But when well, it, it, like, it gets to a point where a game costs one hundred and fifty dollars, like well, yeah, I mean, yeah. If it, if, I mean, once once it hits that, then yeah, okay, that's kind of stupid, but still, everything's growing, like, when... and it's not that much of a jump. Say if it went to like a sixty to an eighty, okay, yeah, I might throw hands with somebody, <laughs> but I mean, it's not that much. <laughs> well, that's I was, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Time, <laughs> time, time, time out. Hold on, real quick. The only thing I get to see Sabrina doing is literally just like. Looking at a seven foot two game developer who's like jacked as fuck because he has so much free time after a game releases, just looking down at Sabrina to be like, "What are you gonna do about it?" 
<laughs> I was wow. thinking of just posting up on a guy in GameStop being like, what, you want to take this outside? Come on, let's do this. Like, <laughs> like, uh, ma'am, ma'am, uh, I actually, that's not even ready. That's a pre-order. I don't even have that game, uh, ma'am. And she's like, oh, you're making excuses now. you just like your mama making excuses. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm sorry. I don't even know what that means, ma'am. I don't know what that means. I thought you were a sweet girl walking in here, but I was wrong. I was wrong. I didn't even you. But it's it's hard. Money is money is important to a lot of people. You want to get the most out of your out of your buck. And I mean, we've seen. I think it plays a lot into it, right? I think we can all agree that in this current generation, there's been a lot of anger around making these big purchases and not getting the game that you expected. We've been seeing a lot yes. of that, right? We Battlefront yeah, like, Two, Last of Us Two is somebody. A lot of people, know. yeah, a lot of people would argue that. Uh, so once you start increasing that price, you're naturally going to get a lot more skepticism. Would you Let's agree? Talk about the division. Yeah. Well, Which one? One I, or two? I, I will, I will <laughs> say. I will say. So going back to what Nathan said before, with like having that ten dollar increase, like justified. If you're gonna give more of the, like if you can promise more from release on that game, like a better outcome from something. Feel free to make it like that ten dollars extra. But if you're not gonna, if you're gonna make it standard, like every other, like you're gonna have GTA Five come out on the new console and make it cost seventy dollars because mm -hmm, it's on a mm -hmm, new console, mm -hmm. you're not gonna get a good outcome from it. No, I think it's a great example because I think a lot of people are already exhausted that GTA Five has spanned uh, what's going to go on to three console generations without yeah. a new release. Um, and you're not, I'm, I don't see a reason why. I mean, yeah, 4K GTA sounds great, but it's still the same game. They they didn't release any additional single player content. Um, I mean, at this point, uh, 2K is just milking the whole online aspect. And don't get me wrong, I was a huge GTA Online, but no, you're absolutely correct in your your point there. Uh, a lot of people are, are going to look at that and make that justification that, hey, what's in? Why am I going to be 70, spending seventy dollars on something I've already paid for? You know. So. I think that's that's important. I think that's something that I honestly believe uh, in the coming weeks or months we're gonna touch on again. To be honest, no, this definitely. isn't gonna go away. This isn't gonna away. Once we start seeing more games being announced for the newer generation, we're gonna see start seeing the prices, and we're gonna either way see what we're gonna be moving towards. If we're gonna stay the same, I think it's gonna get interesting here as we move into the next year. And with that, I would like to segue into our uh, sponsor for this week. Uh, and our sponsor right now is the Mirror Minute. We're going to bring that to you, and I would like to swing it over the Mirror. Give us our minute. Hi. How are you? I'm Mirror. So, have you, have you ever been in the bathroom? And, you know, you break the toilet paper? It sucks. It sucks ass. <laughs> Your finger sucks ass. So, anyway, how do you like your chicken nuggets? Me, personally, I like them crispy. I like them crispy. A little... Just a little tender in the middle, but you know, I like to eat them. I like to eat them like that. Sheep. Sheep are cool. They're really cool. That's it. Back to the podcast. And that's the mere minute. We like to take pride in our ads and we make sure we pick the right ones to sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to mute. I had to mute. I was gonna. Oh my god, I was dying. No, uh, we take a lot of pride in our sponsors. We pick that. We go. We Excuse we me. bet. Composure. We bet tens Composure. of zeros of sponsors for this podcast. <laughs> Why and, is um, a sponsor? She has a spa. Look, we had a vote, and Mir said it the loudest, and he became our sponsor. So uh, the, the Mir Minute will be broadcasted to you uh, going forward. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm very interested in the product it has to offer. I uh, move into. I, I really want to know about the toilet paper now. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I know. Is it Downey? Is it, uh, is it Charmin? Is it I'm not sure. Is it Downey? <laughs> is it Downey? If you I, know the Personally? Brand, it's not that one. <laughs> See, it, I don't know. I don't know about you, but I love. I'm a man, so I use brawny. I don't know about oh you, God. but what cleans Isn't me the best is cows? brawny. <laughs> yes, it is, man. It <laughs> is. My bad. It's only the toughest for See, for the only Chris thing is tiny. About that. I don't think about that is that if you don't have a hard ass, I feel like Charmin Ultra is one of the best things ever. See, personally, ever, no. personally I like to put uh, Dawn dish soap onto a oh. baking sheet and bake it and then make it hard like, you know, a Frisbee. That's how I wipe my ass because I, I think know it's, it's really clean. 
I think it's important in this time. I know we had that toilet paper scare of 2020 that we all had to you find had to creative ways. Own. Yeah, we had to find creative ways, and I got closer with Bronny. That's what happened. Uh, so like, you know, I got closer with God. <laughs> <laughs> See, oh the only my thing I goodness. say about that is that you have a sink right next to you. You're literally sitting on the toilet. This sink is like two feet away. Why not just use your own damn hand? Yeah, but I'm. I'm oh, uh, no. Excuse me. That's excuse getting brave. Me. That's getting brave. <laughs> That's for someone that only eats you're, rice. You're talking, I eat like, spicy shit. I was about to say, I use my fingers to eat chicken fingers, man. I, I don't I don't use that for other things. That's for chicken nuggets and chicken fingers. I don't do that. I don't do that. And with that, we'll be moving on to our yes, third topic. Thank Most, you. Yeah, we need to move away, and we're going to move into our next one, which is, I think, a very important topic to discuss. And for a lot of gamers out there, so there's a lot of choices that we have, but what is the best gaming snack? You know? Yeah. What is that snack that you like to enjoy when you're sitting down so playing wait, video games? Did you just say Sam? Did she no, just say Sam? Ham. 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 Like, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 my God. So, of all the snacks I imagined that would come out, uh, Ham was I not one not of them. did not expect that. Yeah, I didn't expect ham. Is it just straight up ham? Are you just opening the cold cuts and just yeah, no, shoveling up, into your mouth? Like, as we've been talking, I've just been eating ham. <laughs> Alright, so Sabrina is in that time of the okay. I think she brings a new no, a new meaning up, like, to the honestly, statement I'm going ham. We, we, I just I needed food and I was like, ooh, here's a drawer full of food and I was like, ham will do it. So I've just uh You just been have a ham. dresser full of food? <laughs> no! No, no, it, it, it's in our little mini, mini fridge. fridge. Oh, I it's need, literally I in a mini fridge. I need to level up. No, the mini fridge. I need to level in. up. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Please tell me you don't have a mini fridge garage. and a fridge. Okay. No. Nah, I have a mini fridge in my fridge in my mega fridge. <laughs> <laughs> my, my mini fridge is in my normal fridge, which is in the walk in freezer. Yeah. I'm hoping we gain enough traction so Game Fuel comes on. They're like, hey, we're going to make a Sabrina-sponsored ham flavor of a Game <laughs> Fuel. Um, it's, it, I don't see it doing well, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it. I don't see it doing well. <laughs> what great confidence you have there. I'm just saying, ham you, edition, you just uh, have Game a picture, Fuel. Ham edition. You yeah. just have a picture of, uh, of Sabrina putting the ham over her lips in landscape mode and sucking in. Just, <laughs> 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 just that's all it is. I think it's too oddly specific. We're see the topic is turning uh, turning into uh, Sabrina eating ham instead of what is our best g favorite game <laughs> snacks. Look, <laughs> at the moment it's ham. So <laughs> you know, I think the best gaming snack would probably be um, what's it called? What's it called? What the fuck is it called? I, I don't know about you. I'm, I'm holding Doritos next to me. Uh, Doritos, I think, is I don't eat personally uh, Doritos. Uh, I'm a, I haven't I'm had a, a bag gentleman. of Doritos. I haven't had a bag of chips in possibly well, well, a well, year. I, I, I can say Doritos definitely came from my addiction uh, back like earlier when I was like, like you, you, you all have that like uh, Mountain Dew and like Doritos cod addiction. Oh yeah, true. Oh but Mountain like, Dew is me. What, what Doritos? I got nacho. Cool yeah. Ranch. Okay. Yeah, Cool Ranch, cool ranch is, is my I, I go between the both of them. No, nah, Cool Ranch is Cool Ranch is for the people that, like, they order chicken wings just to give their chicken wings to friends and drink the ranch dip. Well, here, here, yeah. so here, here's something. That's so disgusting. We, we, can make the, we can make that a whole heated argument. Who who likes the jalapeno? Ooh. Exactly. What is that? What do you speak of? What is this? The jalapeno? spicy jalapeno. What the fuck is that? They're like a, a uh, thousand would be combinations a for Doritos. It's literally the just purple like bag leaves. of Doritos. Oh, I think there's a the sweet wait. chili. Is, is that the sweet chili? chili? Yeah, they're That's called sweet, sweet chili. chili. Yeah. Oh well, it's a sweet chili, and uh, no, there's sweet chili, and then there is actually a, no, a hot. The, the, uh, hot, hot the jalapeno is the fucking uh, like the Doritos limon. I thought it was the nah, it's the I thought limon. it was the green bag. Yeah, there's the green bag. I figured so it, says it would be green. Yeah, it says limon. I don't know. Anything jalapeno is green. Yeah, it says limon. Like, it, no matter what. No matter what. Or grass it just flavored. Says limon. <laughs> or grass flavored. Yeah, Chris, please. we are not vegans. I eat we're, meat. No, we're not. We're not doing bean uh, boozled here. 
Bean Boozled? Bet. Honestly, you do not know Bean Boozled. Dorito. No, I do not. I'm not familiar oh with Bean Boozled. Oh my god. Chris, uh, are you Bean Boozling me right now? I, I'm sending you Bean Boozled through the back. Like, I'm, I'm sending you Bean Boozled. You have I'm gonna okay. be. I'm uncomfortable about so, this. So, Bean you should be. be. Wow. I so, like bean they're jelly beans. You either. So, say there's two blue ones, exactly same color. One of them is gonna be cotton candy. One of them One is gonna, gonna be gonna toothpaste. Be toothpaste. Oh, know. I know what you're talking out. about. Yeah, yeah, you find out the hard way. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. like one, hard. yeah, one's like you have black fart flavored. The other one's one black licorice. The other one's skunk. Yeah, some no. of them aren't bad though. Like, like some of the bad flavors aren't actually that bad though. Like popcorn. Like garbage. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 the pop the popcorn was a good one. The the rotten eggs was the bad one. Uh, or you could have one flavored Mears mixtape. <laughs> hey, hey, we not we not Cypher here delivering spice paper. right now. <laughs> <laughs> talking about gaming snacks. <laughs> we're talking jalapeno spicy, or are we talking like freaking McDonald's spicy nugget spicy, where no. it's literally just okay. like on the it's topic not spicy. of snacks. I know we're going a little bit off topic. But what do y'all think of McDonald's Sprite? Because personally, I feel like that <laughs> shit can revive seltzer water. anybody. Seltzer water. Bullshit! That shit can it, revive it, it, Jesus. It's heavy seltzer. That can no. rev that can revive Jesus on the second day. No, I think Baja <laughs> Blast Mountain Dew is that. That's what I think that no, is. No, no, that what? that fucks my stomach way too much. No, that's the that's when you know it's working. That's when you know it's working. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it, it, it gives it makes a good point that they only serve it in Taco Bell now. Yeah, and they sold it out of stores for a while. I don't know if they still do, but nah. I mean, you, because you here I think there. for legal it, it's purposes, it's like a summer thing. Yeah. I think because if you kill keel over inside of a Taco Bell, they're not liable. Uh, but if you buy it off the shelf and die at I, home, I mean, then... if I kill over yeah, inside I... of a Taco Bell, I better become that quesarito. <laughs> 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 I better be hurting another person's stomach. My, my only thought with them only selling it at Taco Bell is you know you're going to Taco Bell, so you're going to be real close friends with your toilet soon after. So they're just yeah. going to give it to you. Here's my thing. I think we can all agree Taco Bell is not a good gaming snack. Uh, no, no. Yeah. I mean, if you intend on right doing some mobile gaming, maybe, but <laughs> yeah, <mobile. laughs> no. I don't intend I to go right there now. for a long my, trip. My dad loves eating Taco Bell, and he'll get it at like two in the morning when everybody's fucking asleep. If he'll, he'll like wake me up, and be like, "Hey, you want to go to Taco Bell?" And I'm like, "That's when it's the it, rankest. Sure. That's when that's when you know you're getting like the last bit. That's when they put the little extra yeah. because <laughs> when, when you start, <laughs> when, like, what? okay, when you start a like a like go uh, to exactly any restaurant go to any restaurant at the very beginning say you're like the very first person you get the portion out but if you go at the very end when they're about to close they're giving you whatever is left in that little bean what do you mean talk about head. closing close talk about don't close <laughs> it's 24 7 true 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 but you, two o'clock is usually when they start cleaning it's just when you know where they're fucking sleeping. Quote unquote cleaning. <laughs> yeah. I hate just, you. I hate you. They're just warming up you. the beans. <laughs> I hate you. So Sabrina, do you have something to add? Not add to it. Um, kind of off topic. In the game, I found a village, right? Mm -hmm. okay. I'm straight up not anywhere n any of you. I am far out. Ask them what's their However, favorite gaming snack. Hey, maybe you should yeah. teleport Sabrina no. to us. That way she loses her village. No! No, 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 no. <laughs> There's nothing in the village! There's literally nothing in the village! Is it, you see cobwebs? All the vegetables village. are gone. No. You see no, 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 no. No. All the villagers are still here. That's weird. <laughs> they were like, hide There's it. no vegetables? Hide it. She's coming. <laughs> There's no chest. She's coming to steal our shit. Hey, yo, son, hide my shit. <laughs> so what you're saying is that village is a representation for what to expect from Hyperscape. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Look, I just put it out there. It's there, but how do you I think I think you found it. I literally almost spat out all the soda that was in my mouth. That, I was <laughs> <laughs> that rejuvenated Sprite. See, I feel like I feel like a good snack for me. I I like hot dogs. I like uh, chaps. Uh, chaps are really good. Um, 
But I think chocolate. anything with one hand, you can eat with one hand. You're not gonna play a video game. Yeah, Excuse me. No. I've, I mean, I've gone ham like, on some chicken maybe... wings with no fingers. So I want to say you if, gotta if work you can with what eat you got. it, <laughs> like here and there, then it's okay with two hands because like you have the loading screen time. Sometimes there's those games like Siege you where you die and you stay dead, yeah. and you have a period where you can just straight up chill. I think like. my favorite, actually, I take that back. My favorite is a bowl of cereal because I don't need hands. No! I'll be gaming in no! the middle of a match. I'll just put my face in it and start <laughs> sucking it up like a vacuum. Cereal! My chin gets a you little mean, messy, you cereal. but it's fine. Because the mu milk gives me muscles that help me be stronger. I'm, I'm trying to figure oh out God. this. Yeah. The milk. I'm trying to figure <laughs> out does Sabrina eat cereal or is she just completely against it? No, I eat cereal. <gasps> You're one of those flakes, people. All the way. Maybe some uh, fruity pebbles, maybe or like. You're a cereal hater. <laughs> I'm not a cereal hater. <laughs> Sounds like he, that's what a cereal hater would say. Sounds like something an oatmeal person would say. <laughs> <laughs> I hate oatmeal, honestly. I don't know. I, I okay, you hate that cereal as well. Oatmeal. Okay, no, we're, we're hanging Ryan. on this for way too long. <laughs> I'm going to move in, us into our last topic, which is topics from a bucket. Da -da 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 -da. It's a bucket. Hey. So, our last topic... <laughs> <laughs> I, am, I am saving that. I am 100% saving that, and that will be the sound for, for the fourth topic. That needs okay. to be it. <laughs> so, I'm going to pick a random topic from a bucket, and that's going to be our topic from for this week. Right now, I'm putting my hand in the bucket i am sorting the topics i am pulling out the topic our topic for this week is if you were wrongly put into an insane asylum how would you convince them that actually that you are actually sane and not just pretending to be sane i would pretend to be insane I'd that's sure not they... what <laughs> i'd make sure they put i need a charcoal the i need a charcoal I'll, I'll give it back <laughs> you took I, all my charcoal honestly like, oh, what, what is that one scary movie no. called? You mean the one the with Exorcist. Leonardo DiCaprio? Oh. I will... No. The oh Exorcist. my god. <laughs> you go straight to Exorcist? <laughs> I go Exorcist on him. Oh, I thought you'd become the extra, like the person on the bed and like freaking... Oh. No, yeah. No, okay. No, no. Wait, that, 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 you okay, want to be... Okay. Sort of yeah, straight up, I would become that. That would not convince you to get let out, though. No, that would convince oh, you to stay in and solitary let out? confinement. Yes, you gotta oh, convince them I you're sane. You you <laughs> oh, I thought you meant that we had to be, like, say, like, you actually are insane. I mean, like, I mean, I can. No, you are not so, sane. Conv convincing someone to insane. In, at, at an okay. insane si asylum to let you out because you Time are out. sane. It, it, uh, you are, are sane, yes. Okay, okay. You walk past gotcha. that, that stroke he just had? Honestly, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's Honestly, uh... so I would literally just talk to one of the guards, like, "Yo, yo, 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 you heard about that kid that sees dead people? Yeah, that that ain't me." I'd be like, "Hey, hey, hey, smell my finger. It smells like normal, <laughs> doesn't it? it? Smells like somebody had paid for gas. Let me out, this bitch." <laughs> he's like, See, "Yo, man, he right. Like it normal. does." I'm gonna say, like, okay, oh I'm gonna say this based off. Music. I'm gonna say this based off of personal experience due to the fact that I was in one for the army and I re do not ever want to go back there ever again because they thought I was insane. Um, all you gotta do is literally just do what they say. All you yeah. gotta do is eat a whole tube of toothpaste in one second. All you gotta yeah. do is but I mean, juggle would the Would you take the pills that they, they give you? No, then you're, then you're starting to get into like fallout shit. That that's literally Fallout shit right there. But yes, I did take the pills. <laughs> Dude, it's <laughs> it sounds like to me, honestly, it sounds like to me all of y'all would keep your butts in that insane asylum. It's really oh, yeah. simple. Get the fuck out. It's really yeah. simple. You all you have to do is they come in there and it's like prove to us you're saying. All you have to do is say a few keywords. Mexican guy. Epstein didn't kill himself. Nah, you just <laughs> walk in. You out. You out. You just walk you in out. and be like, hey, you out. Mexican guy on boots. And they like, holy fuck, he's he's good. He's good. He out. You know what? 
here's my wallet. Go buy some Wawa on the way out. Go, like, go buy go. some Wawa on the way out. <laughs> I hear they're they're they have new burritos over there, pretty bomb. That's, you know. That's actually that's actually no, that's actually a good thing for like anyone in the Delco community. Like Mir, Mir can Mir can have, like confirm this. If you get any like if you get a free credit card to anywhere, and you don't go to Wawa, you're insane. Honestly, that's funny. Honestly, I feel like. <laughs> I feel like if you get arrested in Philadelphia or like just in my area and they're like, hey, so we're going to put you in an insane, in, never mind, I'm going, in a <laughs> insane asylum, but your last meal on the outside, where are you going? Just be like, can you take me to Wawa? They're like, let him go. Let him go. <laughs> Say, let, him go. <laughs> let him go. By the way, by the way, there was something that tragic that happened at Wawa. Months ago, but they have what? brung it back. I found a golden axe. The oh, fucking the honey. honey turkey is back. Ooh, ooh. Is it good or bad? Is that oh, you're saying oh, it's, it's good? good. Oh, okay, okay. okay. It, the fact okay. that they took it away was the dumbest shit. The dumbest. Okay. It, it really I have was. a wallow near me. I have to check that out because I've never had. I'm yeah, a sheets man. It, it's it's really good. Oh. Okay. I'm sheets go through and through. If I see a sheets and a Wawa next to each other, I'm taking my boots and I'm stepping into sheets. That's what I'm doing. No, got sheets gotta, card and everything. You gotta, you gotta do a, a Tokyo drift into both. <laughs> <laughs> Chris has in an one out the back, the other back through the back of one and back out the front. Yeah. yeah. Right. As, as well, an Asian, I permit you to, Tokyo. I permit the Tokyo drift to activate. <laughs> I, I, I was gonna pull off the link. You know, what you need is like freaking just a, a, a video of a car just going headfirst into a gas station. There you go. You drifted. You're done. You did it. You accomplished what you meant to set out. For, have, for some reason, that, that the first the first, the first the first picture that came to my mind when you said that was someone driving away with a gas pump. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's too many of that. Too many of that. <coughs> Yeah, I'm no, gonna ignore a lot of that. Um, <laughs> so, thank you for joining. I'm gonna close it now. Uh, closing remarks. Does anybody have closing remarks before we end this podcast? Um, I do. Mature remarks. I, I, do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Okay. Absolutely. Everybody out Mir, there. Mir, go first. Everybody out there, be safe. We don't know what type of people the uh, the world is 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 creating nowadays. I mean, look at me. I'm out here. So, if you see me, be safe. I most likely won't be. Goodbye. Motivating words, man. Very motivating. Fam, hit us. Alright, so one thing I gotta say is that I noticed that there's a lot of people out there who are, you know, very patriotic. I understand that, and I am, you know, a patriot as well. I support a country, you know, freedom, all that. Woo-woo, America, July 4th, yes. But, in the essence of that, if you're asking for your freedom, or if you are fighting for your freedom over the fact that, like, you, you're, you're, the government itself is forcing you to wear a mask. They're not exactly doing it just for propaganda and for political reasons. They're doing it because they know that we're all dying. So, please wear your masks. Wear your gloves. Just whatever you got to protect yourself. Make sure you just don't get fucking sick. Because <clears throat> it sounds like I'm getting sick. I think I'm sick. But not like coronavirus sick. I think it's just allergies. No, you're mentally. Yo, well, I, I was actually <laughs> sick. I, I was running down the stairs today, and I actually did a back jump off the last stair, and I think I'm sick AF, so... <laughs> I, I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I even heard my wife whisper like, yo. So, anyway, thank you for joining us on the Real Team 6 podcast, where we bring you real talk paired with real gameplay. We hope you can join us next week, but until then, keep it real. Mir, hit us with that jingle. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> <Love it. laughs> we'll catch you next time. Okay. This is stupid. <laughs> <laughs>